Business Talk with Tom and Till. The question is, does permanent travel mean sacrificing real friendship? It kind of does, doesn't it? I mean, if you're traveling, obviously you can't spend as much time with the people. And then if you go somewhere like uh, Vietnam or Chiang Mai or Tokyo, you'll hang out with some people for a month or two and then you got to go. So, yeah, you can keep up with them on Skype and everything, but it's it's not the, you know, in-your-face interaction that it's kind of like... I don't know. I, I think it kind of does. But at the same time, you meet more people and you make more mm. relationships. So... It does, but I don't think it's a bad thing. Have you also seen this phenomenon that with other people that are traveling, I mean, we have this huge digital nomad movement now, have you seen that, that actually these people are much easier to connect with and easier to keep friendships up? Okay, that's a whole different thing, yeah, because the, the funny thing with some of our community is that you'll get to a different country in a different continent and then you see the same people again. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> what are you doing here? Like, I came here to get away from you. <laughs> exactly. Seem to, they always seem to cluster up. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's a whole different thing. But at the same time, like the people from maybe back home, then obviously yes, right? Uh, definitely. I, I, I've this phenomenon phenomenon right right now actually with a friend who I'm having a really hard time keeping up with. And uh, normally we hang out in person, but just hanging out on Skype is just different. Yeah. I think if you have a real common objective, it's pretty easy to do on Skype, but if it's just a hangout, small talk, drink a beer, like what are you going to do on Skype? Like, hey buddy, like here you go. Like, there's, there's the Heineken hit me. Right? Yeah, true. Yeah, I mean, we're doing this, this video thing for, for a while now and um, we have only seen us for two months in the last year around, right? My other co-founder is in, is in Denmark and I've, I've seen her five times already, but only for a week always. So yeah, it's definitely easy to keep up if you have a mission. Yeah, I mean, I haven't ever seen my workers in person, so <laughs> like it's it's just fine. But you know, this was more about friendship, right? Like, I don't make friends with my workers. So. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I had some some Skype hangouts with uh, with an old business partner, but there was always some kind of purpose in it. There was never we just hang out and just talk about life and everything. It's really something else. I mean, think about that. You, even with your family, right? Like you won't just get up there and leave Skype open for like 10 hours and just, you know, all right, let's just kind of hang out like we're in the same house. That wouldn't work. Right, it's like, okay, man, what do you want? Yeah. But uh, what, what it does work though is um, calling the parents. So I've, I've started that one and a half years ago when I started traveling. I just said every Sunday I call them. I didn't say a time, but I just said Sunday. And that works extremely well. Well, I think it's awesome for that, especially, um, I think I set up the PlayStation 3 for my parents and they can actually see the Skype call or something that I'm doing on the big uh -huh. TV, right? And and it's picked up by a camera also that's hooked up to the PS3. So I can see them really well and they see us on the, on the huge TV. So that's kind of helpful. Yeah, that makes sense. If you liked what you heard, please leave us a review on iTunes. They do matter. Also, come and hang out with us on our website, yourownwayout.com. That's yourownwayout.com. See you soon.